this is a video about the horse meat scandal thing. So in the UK at the moment, there's been a bit of a scandal in the papers about uh, one of the one of the biggest supermarkets, Tesco, who um have been selling burgers and the burgers have been found to have horse meat up to thirty percent horse meat in these burgers. So obviously it's not advertised as horse meat; it's um cow cow meat or whatever, and um and all the other great stuff they put in burgers and uh, so there's been a bit of an outrage in this and, and a lot of various different levels and it's interesting to see the reactions so I don't really well I don't eat meat anymore um, so it doesn't really concern me these things you know the, <laughs> I don't have to worry about what's in my burger or what's in my meat um, that that kind of concern is gone and I'm sure most people aren't concerned anyway the people that are eating, that are eating the burgers probably don't really care but for a lot of people it raises a lot of sort of thoughts and you know because for a start you, you start to realize that these industries don't really care um for the consumers that much you know they, they don't they don't have any respect <laughs> for the consumers at all um the they're obviously lying they're happy to lie um, and they don't really care about giving you something that's a quality product or it's good for you or or anything else so you can't really ever trust these industries, but probably pretty much every food industry really. But you know, if you're eating an apple, there's just an apple in there, and a banana is just a banana. Rice, potatoes, <laughs> these things are just whole foods. So when you're eating whole foods, I mean, I just I'm just eating fruit at the moment, but um, you don't you don't concern yourself with these things, and then so people will go on about you know the way it's grown or the way it's this and that. And uh, I don't know the the impact globally of importing over bananas and stuff like that, but these things are never quite the scale of the destruction of the the whole meat industry, the dairy industry. But the reason people are so concerned about this whole thing is that we're conditioned to eat, uh, or being told to eat, that certain animals are food and certain animals aren't. And we're sort of on the borderline with horse. Well, we're not in this country, but as a as a as a species or whatever. And there's a lot of people that eat horse, French eat horses and Belgians and various people eat horse. Um, we don't really eat horse, we see them more as something for, you know, um, putting our big fat asses on top. <laughs> it's not, maybe not a nice place for it, but basically of uh, climbing up on top of and these, these horses that have been like whipped God knows how many times to stop them from kicking their natural instinct, which is like, what's this monkey doing sitting on top of me, this fat, stupid monkey person? <laughs> you know? All of these things to do with horses are totally cruel and stupid. Like, all the um, horse racing industry is just, like, horrible, you know. Horses are dying all the time <laughs> for stupid races um, that just people bet on, you know. Uh, it's, just, it's just really stupid, you know. Um, but yeah, all these people get, oh no, I'm eating a horse or, or whatever. And um, I know this isn't a very coherent speech, right? <laughs> but essentially, like, you, you, if you look at different countries, there'll probably be countries, you know, Muslims don't eat pork, you know, so they'll think eating pigs is bad, and, and certain people don't eat cows, or Indians don't eat cows, so they they would never see eating the cow. They used to, if, if, you had, if you put cow in their burger, they'd, they'd be, you know, horrified at that. Um, but you'll never see something like a wild cat or a, I don't know, <laughs> a polar bear or anything like that. Like they wouldn't bat an eyelid with it. Was in fact they would just be in every animal. You know, if they if they took over the world, they would have every single morsel of every animal. <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't like. They wouldn't really care. Just whatever. In fact, I've always thought that if we were truly omnivores. Then we would have a long time ago. We would have switched to uh, um, an insect, pretty much an insect bug type based diet. Cause it's so much easier economically and, and everything else. Just put loads of snails or whatever in a big place, no problem. You know, we <laughs> waste so much land dealing with all these uh, cows and all that. Um, but yeah, people find that sort of disgusting. The idea of eating slugs or snails or, um, you know insects and various other animals because it's like 
you know, we're not really being conditioned. It's not part of our society and culture to do that. And and that's all it is. It's just conditioning. And when you give up these things, you realise it's just it's crazy. It's madness to be eating any kind of animal. It's it's uh, it's really scary that we're doing that. Um, and the effect on health and everything else. It's pretty bad, but yeah. So the horse meat thing is just funny because I, I avoid um, meat. <laughs> Avoid it now. I could never catch a horse. I, I avoid um, food that I couldn't, I couldn't catch, and a horse is about the last thing on earth that I could possibly eat if I put my mind to it out in nature. Like, well, not really. Like because we're smart and we can make stupid weapons for hurting each other with and all that stuff. We start off with weapons. We start off um, using it to maybe protect ourselves, and then we start killing things. And then we start killing each other with the same weapons, you know. So uh, if we had a weapon-free life, which would be if we were back in nature, sort of fruitarian stuff, <laughs> yeah, maybe we wouldn't need weapons and all that. Well, maybe we would protect ourselves, whatever. Uh, but maybe we should just accept that we're like a we're a, a species that would be easily hunted and eaten. And, you know, just just accept that and just you know allow the old people to get eaten now and then or whatever. <laughs> um. Yeah. So trying to get back to this horse meat thing. So yeah, but in question time, you know, they're, they're saying they start to bring up the question. This is question time, which is a big debate show, and that they were saying like, oh, why did we? Why do we see some animals as food and some animals not? It's because uh, we're not a carnivore or an omnivore, which see basically all moving things as fair game and something worth eating. Apparently, carnivores don't really eat other carnivores because eating a carnivore is like really unnutritious because <laughs> other carnivores are eating meat all the time so they know how bad that is like I don't want to eat stuff that eats meat all the time um, but um, you want to eat stuff that's eating lots of nutritious food like you know like plant food and all that uh, so that's a rambling uh, reply <laughs> reply to the horse meat thing um, going going veg vegetarian is really easy giving up meat is uh, is surprisingly easy and um, you're helpful. Hopefully, uh, you'll feel the difference with that. And also, you you, you get this. Um, I don't know. It's it's a nice thing to have your ethics in line with other things in your life. You know, um, if you believe that uh, animals or cruelty shouldn't happen, or that um, imprisonment and all these all these things that are happening. Or just basic killing, if you think killing's wrong, killing an animal. If you feel like you couldn't do that yourself, it's maybe an idea to consider um, giving up meat because you're, you're sort of forcing another human being to make that decision. And the decision is like, should I go for this job, would I have to kill animals? Um, or, or not. So it's kind of unethical towards humans in a way because we're forcing people into these weird situations. Um, anyway... So uh, just give up the burgers and you won't have to worry about horse meat and all this stuff. And um, let's leave the horses alone. Let them go running about. <laughs> just let them go running. They're not going to do us any harm. They're not coming after us. Just let them go back to the plains or the fields, wherever they come from. And uh, let the animals that eat horses, let them deal with that. That's, that's how nature is. Uh, okay. That's, that's about me and the horse meat thing. <laughs> Who knows, I might say more. I don't know, I'm laughing. It's actually a really cruel, horrible thing. If you watch horses being shot, it's pretty bad. It's, uh, it's terrible. Okay. But you can look that up yourself. Make your own decision on it. Make the right decision. <laughs> Bye.